Hi, this is Noah Dimitri. Today we'll explore what is a river delta. All rivers are, you know, or almost all rivers for practical purposes, flow from some kind of higher place like a mountain down to the lowest place possible where anyone can flow on earth, which is the sea. At some point they meet the sea and the water gets spilled into the sea. So this, the, the fresh water, the, the sweet water falls into the salty water of the sea and that's how the sea got to have all its water. Um, what is a river delta then? A river delta is the place where the river meets the sea. Why is it called a delta? Delta is a Greek letter and the capital delta is like a triangle, it's like this. And that's why it's called a delta because the places where rivers meet the sea are usually in the shape of a triangle. Why are they in the shape of a triangle? Because as the river flows down and meets the sea, it brings with it tremendous amount of sediment. For sediment, think sand. Lots and lots and lots of sand, which is what you see all around me here. You see sand everywhere. So the river, as it flows from the mountain through the valleys, it leaches out earth and soil which and 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 erodes rocks and the, all this matter becomes what we are calling sand uh, mud if you want uh, and all that stuff flows to the river where it meets the sea as it accumulates more and more it piles up it creates an obstacle to the river so it blocks the river um, and the river has to spread itself on the two sides of this particular obstacle which it itself has created in front of the sea and it creates this delta triangle and the more it flows the more it brings the more it blocks its entrance to the sea and the more it has to spread and the delta becomes larger and larger and larger and very often the original places the beginning places where the mud blocked the river become islands um, what you see around me here is kind of this phenomenon, the interaction of the water, the river water and the sea creates all these different rivers, this extremely rich area of an enormous area. Uh, it goes for miles and miles, it can be hundreds of miles, where these two elements meet, the, the river and the sea, through the intermediary of all this mud that comes down. Um, one of the fam most famous uh, river deltas is the Nile River Delta in Egypt, which is definitely worth a visit. Nama Dimitri, that's what a delta is. Happy trails!